and welcome back to Network Like a Pro. My name is Raymond Tyler, and we are here with the one and only Cindy Fersh. Hi, Raymond. Did I pronounce that right? You Close did. Right? You did. It's a tough one. Okay. Yeah, thank All right. you. She is the publisher of a great new, it was about a year old? Going on two years. Going on two years. A uh, newspaper magazine called Shore Local Magazine. And I am excited to say that not only am I a uh, reader, I'm also a columnist. But we are here with the one and only Cindy Furch today to talk about her newspaper and also something that's very close to her heart and uh, a very good. Um, organization for our area, the Heart of Surfing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my special guest, Cindy First. How are you? Thank you. I am great. Thanks for having me today. Thanks for coming and taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us. Okay, so first of all, which would you like to talk about first, Heart of Surfing or Shore Local? Well, Heart of Surfing came first, so can okay, I talk so about Heart of Surfing about first? It. Heart of Surfing. Um, Heart of Surfing is a 501c3 nonprofit organization for families of children or adults with special needs. Um, my son has autism. He's 23 years old now. And when he was young, there wasn't a lot of services or recreational activities or things for him to do. And my husband loves to surf, so he always took him out in the water on his surfboard. And my son has pretty severe autism, so he was never very good at it. He never stood up, but he did it, and it, he just loved doing it. It gave him a lot of joy. My husband told him he was the big kahuna, and he <laughs> believed he was the big kahuna. And year after year, there were pictures of him with the surfboard as he grew up. And then in 2014, we saw that organization started popping up on the West Coast to take kids with autism surfing. And there was one organization in particular that traveled around the country and provided one day, where they called it One Perfect Day, where they would take kids with autism surfing. And I was sitting around with my autism mom friends, and they were trying to get their their sons or the daughters signed up for the program, but it filled up in a millisecond. Wow. And it was only one day, and I thought, well, what if your child's sick that day? What if your child just had a bad day that day, or you have to work? And I went home, and I talked to my husband, and, and we just thought we could do this. We could do this here. We've got a great community. we got a big ocean. We get waves occasionally. <laughs> but, um, so we started up, and um, the first time, we met, there was five of us on the beach, and three of them were my family. Wow. But within a matter of weeks, we were surfing 50 kids every Saturday. And wow. now we surf June through September, every Saturday in Ocean City on 57th Street. Okay. Yeah, and it's no commitment. You can come out for one week, you can come out for 10 weeks. Um, you come out, you, you, know, you go to the tent, sign your child up, and then we match them up with volunteers and instructors, get them suited up with light vests, and then they hit the water. And our goal is, is the smile. We're there to create wow. a, a wonderful experience for them, you know, especially with autism. Uh, there's kids that are so high functioning, you really don't even know that they have autism. And then there's kids that are very, very severe, where they may even be hitting themselves or hitting others. So wherever they are, we meet them where they're at, and we try to support them in every way we can, and encourage them, and it may get a positive experience for them. Great. I have so many questions, but the first question I need to get out there is, if somebody is watching this or maybe listening to the radio uh, rebroadcast, uh, how can people get in contact with Heart of Surfing to sign their uh, family up or to get more information or to make a donation? Okay, heartofsurfing.org or you can go to facebook.com Heart of Surfing. We're also on Instagram and Twitter. Wow. Yeah. And we're in uh, mail at heartofsurfing.org. Wow. Also. Heart of Surfing is a wonderful organization so please reach out to them and get some more information 
I had a talk with you a few weeks ago, uh, of course, off camera, and I was, I, I wasn't trying to dance, but I was trying to ask questions and be respectful, mindful of the fact that probably if I asked 10 questions, three of them would be stupid, but... No stupid questions. Okay, so, uh, but do you find that uh, doing something at an event like hard surfing or where it's um, primarily people with special needs or with autism is a little bit easier to manage only because they understand what they're getting what they're getting into uh, when they come. Sort of, kind of. <laughs> sort of, kind of. okay. It, it's really a moving science. We don't okay. know the, which families are going to come out which days okay. and what their, their child is going to present with, what type of disabilities. We start out with just autism. Okay. Autism is our specialty, we say, because we live with autism. Okay. But then families came to us and they said, well, my child has Down syndrome, or my child has motor control issues, or my child has this. And we didn't feel right about excluding anybody. So we, we take in all types of different disabilities and needs, and we made a decision early on that we treat the siblings equally. We know that, um, you know, watching our three kids grow up, we know what it's like to be the sibling of a child with special needs, that you're sitting in the waiting room a lot, the child with special needs is getting a lot of attention, a lot of help, because they need that help, but it may not seem really fair when you're, when you're a sibling. Okay. So we offer the same thing, the same surf lesson that we do to the for the special needs kids to all the siblings. Wow, that's yeah. great. And we also, um, it's called Heart of Surfing because we started out just surfing. Okay. But in New Jersey, you can only surf from June through September, right. unless you're really hardcore, which we're not. So we started um, skateboarding. So we do a skateboarding and scootering program at the Brigantine Skate Park um, pre and post surf season. So we're there in the spring and we're there in the fall. And I say scootering because some of the kids that have more severe disabilities, they like to have something to hold on to. So the Razor scooters work out really nicely for them. We also offer swimming, roller skating, ice skating, um, special events all throughout the year. Yoga, art classes, all kinds of things. So we've really evolved into a year-round recreational program for kids with special needs. Wow, that is wonderful. Yeah. Uh, the good news is we got uh, all that great information. And give out the website one more time, please. Hardsurfing.org. Okay, so the bad news is what have we got about three minutes left for Shore Local Magazine? <laughs> so Tell us real quick. Much. Oh, no problem. <laughs> okay. Tell us real quick about Shore Local Magazine. Shore Local News Magazine is my husband's baby. <laughs> it's um, it's really become a family business. Um, I'm the editor. My husband is the publisher, and he does all the advertising. He's got a strong background in advertising, and he was with the press and the current and the local media for probably 25 years, um, and. He came to me at one point and said, I want to start my own publication. And during that time, I had twin daughters that were leaving for college with a high tuition. So after you hit them with the toaster. Yes. <laughs> and then he showed me a video, and it was Steve Harvey. Okay. His jump video. And basically he said, if you're, you're going to reach your dreams, at some point and you're going to be successful, you're going to have to jump and otherwise you're going to be working for other people as the, while they go for their dreams. And, you know, the, the video was really powerful, it really touched me, and um, I said, let's do it, let's go for it. And we've been really fortunate and blessed, and we're really thankful for all the businesses that support us, all the great columnists that have come on board, especially you, Ray. Well, you know, what can I say? And Ava. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but really, we, we've been very fortunate, and networking is a, a big part of it. Like, P 
knowing the people in our community and going out and talking with the people in our community and the businesses in our community means everything to our business. Okay, so again, I apologize for having to cut you short, but I do want to bring you back uh, for another edition of Network Like a Pro. Sure. Uh, so let me ask you this, uh, for the business person who may be listening or watching, how can they contact you either to get information about advertising or to let you know about a special event they might want you to come out and cover? So you can go to our website, which is shorelocalnews.com, or you can email me at shorelocalcindy at gmail.com. So shorelocalnews.com, or email shorelocalcindy at gmail.com. All right. Um, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule thank to be with us. Thank you, right. All right, so what I will say real quick is Cindy is actually going to be joining our light family. She's going to be a part of our Saturday night uh, broadcast uh, coming up very soon. So we'd like to thank you. We're, thank you. It's great to be working with you. You too, Ray. Thank All you. right, we'll be back with more Network Like a Pro in a minute.